This story is perfect because you just broke the neighbor's windshield like with the football. Yay! So this is gonna be perfect for you. I'm gonna make you feel way more poor. How did it feel seeing like the $380 of your Venmo? It was just awesome. You just loved it? I'm just in a great mood right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna make you feel better. Kylie Jenner is no longer considered a billionaire, but she's still fucking loaded. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Thank you! Yes! Do you know that's like 0.00001% of the $370? I just Venmoed someone for a broken windshield. That's literally insane. <laughs> Yeah. I know it's fucking insane, Burke, but what's even more insane is that Kylie Jenner, you're not a fucking billionaire for selling makeup. So what happened was, you guys know, like, Forbes considered Kylie Jenner a billionaire, right? Yeah. She was considered the youngest billionaire ever. It turns out a lot of the documents were faked, and Forbes is now taking that back. Damn. So what does that mean? She's not in the Forbes magazine anymore or something? No, it's just that now she's not considered an actual billionaire. Wow. What a great loss. <laughs> Are they, like, actual legal documents that she actually forged? So the accountants for the family actually changed it up, so it made it look like the income from Kylie Cosmetics was way more than actually was. Oh, shit. Damn. Dude, that's actually fucked. That's, like, illegal. That is illegal. That's fraud right there. This story shouldn't even be about Kylie. Kylie Jenner isn't a billionaire, it should be how she's a fucking fraud. How does it make you feel that now she's not a billionaire, but her net worth is considered to be just slightly under $900 million? <laughs> she can just drop one more makeup palette and become a billionaire. <laughs> You're working like shifts every day at Chipotle and Kylie Jenner's worth $900 million. I just can't believe the amount of like risk that they would put out just for that. If you're forging documents, stuff that actually goes to the government just to make you look like a billionaire, $900 million, like that's not bad. But it's the fucking Kardashians being like, I have to be the best at everything <laughs> life's just so hard i just have to exaggerate everything and now i'm a billionaire bitch kanye keeps coming in and like annoying me i have a fat ass scott this will only shave my vagina <laughs> yes, I remember that fucking scene, bro. That was my favorite scene from the Kardashians. That one scene when Scott Disick has to shave. Scott's just going in there like fucking Jay Cutler into a snow game. She's fucking laying out like this. Scott's like, man, well, what angle should I go in at? You know? <laughs> Madeline Burke, she works for Forbes, and she tweeted saying, over the past six months, as more documents came out, inconsistency after inconsistency between what they told us and the truth. T uh, take Kylie's skin, which launched in May. They said it made $100 million in sales by mid-June. In reality, it only done 25 million by November. Damn, fuck. Jeez, dude. It's still like 25 million dollars though. Yeah, it's such a fuck you to normal people. <laughs> well, no, that's actually like a failure considered to her because if you remember like their Kylie skin launch, like that was a huge thing that they were trying to do. Like David Dobrik, Jason Nash, they had the entire set set up. They thought it was going to make 100 million dollars, but they just lied. Like, exactly. and you know, 25 million is not bad. Like if we made 25 million dollars, bro, like we would be set for life. If we made 25 million dollars, like we would go crazy. Yeah. Our break so many windshields <laughs> <laughs> We just go crazy all the time, man. I like how they're bitching over 25 versus 100 million dollars. Like, well, really, what's the difference? Dude, like 100 million versus 25 million? Like, dude, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would do, but if, like for us, what makes a difference is having like 10 extra bucks, we can buy a Starbucks coffee. Yeah, or we can buy an extra burrito. <laughs> Kylie, your problems are just so small compared to us, man. By the way, this Madeline Berg person tweeted at 4.40 a.m. Like, who the fuck is up like tweeting yeah. like actual shit at 4.40 a.m.? Well, I'm just pissed off the fact that like literally she can just show her butt cheeks and she gets millions of dollars and I work 40 hours a week and I get zero dollars. <laughs> exactly. She's like, dude, 25 million versus 100 million. You're like, that's one hour shift versus two hour shift. <laughs> God. Dude, you're just flipping burritos. You're like, fucking Kylie Jenner, bro. You're just giving guac to a customer. Fucking Kylie Jenner, bro. <laughs> you should make a Chipotle makeup palette. <laughs> just make a Chipotle, put guac and sour cream in there. You try to sell that. <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand why you would even lie about this. Like, the things that Kylie Jenner has done to this point are, like, really impressive for someone her age. So maybe she's, like, turning 22 soon and, like, the youngest billionaire is 22 and she wanted to get that out there before she turns 22. Well, yeah, well, that well, that well, that makes sense. Evan Spiegel was the former youngest billionaire creator of Snapchat, obviously, yeah, and right. I think he got there at like 22, right? But she wants the fucking title, she wanted Evan, the clout, yeah, exactly. She wants the clout, but also at the same time, too, like she was doing the fake it till you make it strategy, but she was already made. This is fucked, dude. Really, if I had 25 million dollars, what the fuck. Dude,